Alright, hey guys, and welcome to my third tutorial. Um, I'm going to show you how to do lightsabers in After Effects. This is my third After Effects tutorial, I mean. Um, basically, uh, I'm just going to show you, usually people show you there's like five or like ten or twelve different layers just to make one lightsaber. Um, but I'm going to show you how to do one lightsaber in three. So go ahead and um, make a new composition. New composition. Okay. And I always leave it on these default settings. I leave these settings as default because I like these settings a lot. Um, now in the comp one, right click, go to solid, right click new, go to solid, make it black. Okay. And then again, make another solid, only make it white. Okay. Okay. There. Now up here, grab your um, rectangle masking tool. These are mask tools, these two right here. And go ahead and draw a rectangle, lightsabery, rectangle, whatever. I want to go ahead, go ahead and view this as full. There we go. Now zoom in a little bit, bring down your mask, and put the mask further at 2.5. Now it doesn't have to be 2.5, really, it's just however you want it to look like, but I like it at 2.5, it's usually the best um, for this video size. So now that we have that, go ahead and uh, in, down in composition one, uh, right click, new, adjustment layer and uh, go do the effects controls with the adjustment layer selected or click stylize glow and now it's kinda starting to get a little thicker but we need to glow, throw, uh, glow threshold make that zero alright glow radius we can kinda screw with that 25 that, that's okay um, go ahead and change the glow colors from original colors to A and B colors Leave color A white and change color B to yellow. Or, well, actually, whatever lightsaber. It could be any color, really, you want. There's yellows, green, blue, purple, red. Oh, I'm a Sith. Anyway, there's red. I like red. So go ahead and bring the intensity up a little bit just to kind of get that yellow in there a little more. Uh, change color A. Um, make it yellow, but only bring it about halfway from between the white and the solid yellow. Don't let it go anywhere near the black because that's just gross. Okay? Now, to see what it looks like, bring up the glow, go to project, put uh, your um, uh, your video underneath all, and then we have to get rid of the black solid and the adjustment layer and have the white selected. Go ahead and um, you know, I'm just gonna real quick adjust my view, my camera to where I can see little sister in her Darth Vader costume. Well, it's my Darth Vader costume, but oh well, it's cool. Actually, I have to size it down. Transform, scale. I'm gonna make it 50. There, that's that's good. So I'm gonna go ahead and start right here go ahead and select uh, the white solid and that's the one with the mask in it go ahead and grab one of the mask vertices and move start moving all of them over to get over the lightsaber blade now go ahead and scroll in to zoom in hit H to use your hand tool and click and drag to move it around to move your view around you can also come up here these then hit V to go back to your regular mouse that says and just you know correct correct it on the small uh, zoom in a little more here there we go just correct it as closely as you can and there we go okay so this is the first frame we have it all adjusted and if you saw my lightning tutorial I always position things and then I go to where I can keyframe them so I'm gonna drop down mask oops there we go, first frame, there we go. Drop down the mask. There we go, mask one. Uh, mask path, this is its complete animation. Make that a keyframe. Now, go forward either one or two keyframes depending on how wobbly or solid your camera is and go ahead and move the mask back over. Now if you get to where you're trying to move one but it moves all of them and it moves the whole mask itself, just go ahead and click right here where it says masks above mask one then go ahead and click and drag one at a time 
and I've got my fingers on H and V, that's how I'm switching between um, cursor types to move around and adjust the vertices. Okay, now go ahead frame. Actually, I'm going to go two. Now adjust them again. And uh, yeah, you just keep doing this. Go forward a couple frames or even one frame. Make sure that you go through your entire video again to make sure that you don't go off the blade or something doesn't go wobbly. Make sure that you go through and check that out because that's ever important. Um, I'm not going to do, uh, do the whole thing because it would take too long for the tutorial. So I'm just going to go ahead and put these back up. Oops. Now I'm going to make these visible again. And I'm going to... Um, with Dart, Darth Trin, we have to leave this video, our this uh, this background video right here. This is our video. This is the video that we're affecting. We have to leave the affecting video on this composition, but we need also to make it on a new composition. So go ahead and have it selected. Control C, and then go to Composition, New Comp, and now everything should be the same as when you made Comp One. Okay. Now with Comp Two selected. Um, click inside of the um, layers panel here and go control V and that will cop that will paste your video just as it was because we shortened it we edited it a little bit if we were just to drag it back down we would have to mess around with it a lot to make it the right um, length and size again so make the view full now bring comp 1 above it there. Put comp 1 in comp 2 above um, the, the um, video or whatever. Alright, now in comp 1, we need to view things again, so there we go. We'll go to comp 2, and now this is all you see because we have everything viewed, including the black background. So let's go ahead and um, right click comp 1, go to blending, and make it add. Now this is what it looks like as an add. You can also try blending mode, linear dodge. Now they both do pretty much the same or similar, um, but I prefer line linear dodge because it's best for two lightsaber interaction, and it helps um, and it helps with darker and lighter area. You know, it just depends. So um, the color is a little too hard. Um, that is because of the glow. So we're gonna go back here, comp one. And we're going to go to the adjustment layer, effects controls, drop down the glow, and make color A white again. You know, this is just experimental. All this, you just got to experiment with it until you like it. There we go. This looks more like the lightsabers from the movies. It kind of fades out into that color instead of from white right to yellow and then fades off as yellow. It starts out white and fades off to yellow. That's better. So, um, yeah, I guess you could you could still uh, do it this way, have the color a yellow. You can even have it a hard yellow, but look at how hard it is. See how hard it switches from white to yellow from the center to the out to the edge. It's really it's kind of gross, actually. Yeah, it's, it's just yeah, yeah. I don't really like it like that. So either make it white or put it right in the middle. You know, it, it all depends. Whatever you like. See, this is right in the middle. I actually like it. It fades out a little better with um, a color A right in the middle of yellow and white. So, yeah, that's basically this tutorial. And um, animating it is just as I explained, going from frame to frame, adjusting the thing. See, I've only got it on those first few frames. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope it helped uh, save a lot of time not having to make all those extra layers. And... Um, it does very well. So uh, if you have any questions, have any tutorial requests, please let me know. Shoot me a message. You know, whatever. See you later.